grand rising Miss Empress Jennifer here sorry about the horn in the background but mm, I guess that's what my stalkers do <laughs> anyway Jocelyn Scott mm. so you John Williams and Kenny Britt are in cahoots hmm Well, people, Jocelyn Scott, the one that was supposed to be a supervisor, the one that wanted to be all in my business, and because I chose to be private and come to work and be sociable as um, an acquaintance, but keep you out of my business, this gorilla wanted to uh pry in every aspect of my life and if you slept with kenny you know i don't care okay um that's on you and him whatever you done i don't want him back i don't want you in my life i want you arrested <laughs> mm. I wish uh, I could, uh, you know, somehow booby trap you into a silverback gorilla cage. But anyway, um, people, this particular woman, mm, my son that went mi missing, you know, he was, you know, after listening to some of his music, like I said, he had potential. Um, and then this woman, she has a son, Terrell. Is it Terrell Simmons? Ho. Oh. Anyway, if your children ain't got nothing to do with it, then excuse, please. But you all are adult children. You need to uh, try to gain some control over your whacked out mother if you can if you know that she's a nefarious infamous criminal on the run because she's trying to steal someone's identity and uh put them in all kind of criminal activity you need to tell on her shame um shame her demonic activity and uh save your face because your mother is a disgrace for the things that she's doing to other individuals, <clears throat> including myself. Um, Kamisha, you know, uh, you used to let her watch your daughter. Hopefully she ain't, you know, she probably ain't got time for that because she's too busy on the run. Uh, and hopefully your daughter has changed her at you know attitude because she was trying to teach your daughter how to be nice nasty uh hopefully you're not uh in cahoots with her and you haven't messed with any of my medical records because i know you used to work in the medical field then you moved to tampa florida so anyway Jocelyn, yeah, you you want my business on the street? Yeah, I'm I'm just giving a little rundown here. Anyway, I'm gonna lay off your children if your children ain't got s to do with this. But if they do, shame on you for involving them. Now, you and uh John and this craziness you got going on on the streets trying to involve me in your nefarious things that you got going on because I know you used to be a vodka head are you still that how's your liver bitch uh hopefully it's being ate up by the vodka that you uh like to drink <laughs> <clears throat> so you can uh hurry up and be put in a pine box so you can leave me the hell alone because you are a corrupt, dark, 
voodoo bitch to say the least okay um whenever y'all got going on in the streets if if you put me in any kind of gang activity i hope the gang know the truth and perhaps they start looking at you kenny and john as you know you uh exposing us and uh you having us go for the wrong person when it's you three that are the fucked up ones Mm -hmm. um but anyway jocelyn idris scott did you change your name did you have plastic surgery too and change your appearance i don't know but one thing for sure you can't change that uh dna that blood work right and you can't change the fact that whatever y'all do on the computer trying to act like it's me you can't change the fact that you somewhere else or you could be right next door to me in a car undisclosed to me but it still don't change the fact that my phone is cloned by a whole bunch of people besides your dumb ass um so whatever you think you're doing to me is already done to you. Um, it, it, it's just really sad that people trying to put labels on my character, on my um, saying that I have a mental um mental disorder but yet you criminals <laughs> your criminal activity i will say you all have a mental disorder because anything that you do on the web is trackable but yet you're trying to make like it's me and you have people stalk me, take pictures of me. Uh, what good does that do? I mean, really. Because if you somewhere in France, UK, uh, the Bahamas, but I'm here wherever I am in Florida, Georgia, Alabama, how does that work exactly? I know AI, you know, can uh, spoof things. But that also can be discovered, too. <clears throat> Jocelyn, you are... Uh, and, 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 and I know you practice voodoo. Because when the other co-worker, Lisa Chambliss from Louisiana, when she would go, you would tell her you need some things. Hmm... So she would bring you some things back to try to sabotage me and others. Hmm. In Louisiana, wonder, and y'all need to stop doing all that dark magic. <laughs> you wonder why you keep getting hit by Mother Nature. But anyway, back to you, Jocelyn. Your corrupt behavior. You was warned by Carmen Baez. Oh, that's enough to get you caged when you was doing whatever it was you was doing on your computer while I was sitting at my computer doing my job. You two over there having conversations about your criminal activities. I'm not sure if Carmen Baez decided to leave you alone and let you go on about your way because you're so deep into your crazy demonic activities to try to ruin my life but instead you have very much ruined your life the truth is the truth and like I said I always felt like whatever transpired with my missing son your hands was in it too. Because at that particular time, 
your son Terrell was also trying to be a rapper. So, you know, I'm I'm not sure if you were mm, doing your voodoo work on your child to outdo my child like you try to outdo me. I didn't even know we were in competition. I just was, you know, coming to work trying to do my job, mind my business. Um but as far as being in competition with you or anyone else for what I mean, because what's mine is mine. What's yours is yours. Who you are is who you are. Who I am is who I am. I don't try to compete with somebody else. Nor do I want to be anybody else. Especially after this um, type of stuff that's going on in my life. Why? I mean, really. And then you thought your little voodoo specialty. Because I would imagine you perfected it because that's what you were focused in on. But your voodoo and your sick, psychotic behavior is now getting you in trouble. Right? Hmm. Maybe even the voodoo itself don't even like you. (laughs) Because you've gone too far. You have just gone overboard, you and John, like you slick or something. And then Kenny, whoever you had a child with, or John, whoever you had a child with, which you faking a marriage and then acting like it's my child. I had three children, and they are all grown. One went missing uh, at the hands of you stupid people, convincing them to get into your Ponzi scheme. But as far as any small children or me being married to you, John, or Kenny, you know, everything ended with the two of you. I divorced you in 2014, Kenny, and and left you, John, with police escort in 2014. So how in the hell are we married? How are you collecting under my name besides Jocelyn trying to mimic my handwriting uh, know everything about me because you know while working under that government entity they will take you on you have to go uh, not get your finger is it we were doing fingerprint Every so often, they wanted you to do a copy of your driver's license. And then you have some idiot like this person that's doing nefarious things with your information. As you go through these policy things, I guess it was a policy. I don't know because there's so many corrupt people that work in Brevard County. It probably was just something that they wanted me to be going through so they can have my information and try to have me hemmed up. I don't know, but that's just too much information. Once you're hired, you already have my driver's license. Why you got to keep taking pictures of my driver's license and having people go through uh, things when I wasn't even a bus driver. I was a dispatcher and you know, never drove your bus, never intended on driving your bus. That wasn't what I was hired for. So why did you always need a copy of my driver's license besides you doing something nefarious with that information? And then following me like you my handler, except you being handed your ass to be put up on the slaughter that you tried to put me on. Hmm, imagine that. 
So whatever y'all got going on, trying to steal and block my YouTube channel or make money off my YouTube channel, my old channels, Real Life 1010, um, there's so much going on, I can't think of the other channels, but you stealing my content, making money off of it. Uh, oh, Premonition 6 9. Yeah, that was another one. Or Bella Bella something 12 12. Something another. But anyway, Jocelyn, your life is over, honey. The cat's out the bag. You're being very much followed. You got overseas accounts of money that belong to me. Of money that you made by doing criminal activity. Because I was trying to figure out why Barbara said, Oh, you just racking up money. Barbara's another co-worker. Barbara Burns, you know anything about your friend? Or are you also involved in her little Ponzi scheme too? Because you know y'all were hand in hand uh, at work going off so i know you know some things whether or not you dig dig into the grips of all of this i don't know but then again you could have mm, sacrificed one of your daughters to be involved with a bull crap or maybe jocelyn sacrificed one of your daughters and you didn't know it because she just that cunning but she could have bewitched you because I'm trying to figure out who would want to be friends with this dark witch bitch. And see, I didn't even know anything about voodoo and all that, but I knew that there was something wrong with you, Jocelyn. I just knew something was wrong with you. But I guess you bewitched everybody else to befriend you and and you got that tongue like they say the whore in the book of revelation you have that voice to convince people but but i'm here to tell you that that voice is being silenced that midas touch you think you have is being silenced i'm putting you on notice it's being silenced you're no longer going to be able to be that smooth talker and say, oh, yes, she does this or he does this. You know, putting people, uh, having someone's character be smeared by your mouth and trying to make yourself look like you are innocent and not a monster. You're kind of like... Uh, is it was it Ted Bundy? He had the persona or the demeanor of this nice looking gentleman that wouldn't harm a flea, but he was very much toxic and a murderer, in fact. And that's what you are. You're a smooth talker. Um, you wanted to be like a some type of sexual deviant. You know, about the things you used to say at work. Like, oh, I got the hands of blah, 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 blah. Yeah, that was that voodoo. That's, uh, uh, hopefully that's wearing off. Whoever whoever you may have bewitched, hopefully they waking up and saying, hell no, nah, what is this? Right. Because you have to keep up that spell work in order for somebody to stay on your team. But hopefully my spiritual team is waking those people up so they can really see your true colors that you are truly a monster mm. somebody who don't want to be called a grandmother somebody one who wants to be called g-mama is that what you wanted your grandbabies to call you g-mama well they need to call you gone mama because you are going to go either into a pit or hopefully into a pre prison cell. That is, if your uh, vodka or your other habits don't put you in a pine box first. 
<clears throat> you and John, you know, y'all waddling out, causing havoc for a lot of people um, with your little Ponzi scheme because you don't want to get money the correct way. You want to scheme and harm and pry into others business to see what they have and see what you can take and then um you know since <clears throat> and I do remember distinctively when uh I put in my paperwork for early retirement Barbara Burns you got mad you say Jazz how she get to retire I mean she just forgot that I'm sitting at my desk and I can hear her and you said to her just as calm it's okay. It's all part of the plan. But see, I didn't know what that meant exactly. It's all part of the plan. So the plan was for you to stop my resources so you can continue your bullshit and try to crush me and put me in the ground. But instead, the most I had another idea that it's going to be you that's going to be crushed in the ground. Like I said, you still got your vodka habit, ho. Hmm. Or maybe you got another habit, I don't know, that's riddling your body with sickness. Hopefully, because I'm sure you cast a lot of spells on a lot of people. And hopefully, the Most High has turned it around for all the little witchery and fuckery you have done to people, hopefully it's all turning right back around and sticking to your dumb ass. Mm-hmm. You and, you and John, you and your activities. Because mind you people, this same dizzy hoe while at work, she goes around the office, make sure she comes to my desk with some type of blue pill. So I'm, oh, I gotta uh, take take this pill because of something to do with HIV. So, I'm not sure if you and John were already involved and that's how you have HIV and that's how you and him know each other and, and then you and the family sent him to date me and try to give me HIV, trying to give me what you and John have, but God had another plan. Thank you, Most High, that that didn't happen. And yet you still didn't learn from that when I did not catch that disease and then mind you people after breaking up with John John and Jocelyn was on a phone call on her cellular phone I don't know if it was the company cellular phone it probably was but I guess John got upset because of the restraining order. So while Jocelyn was at her desk, I guess she forgot for a moment whatever John was fussing at her about over the phone. And she slammed her hand on the desk. John! Does that be that? It was because John, I can just feel it within my You all each other so I know it had to be him that and so you exit your desk and went outside to continue your conversation hopefully the authorities got wind of that phone call or maybe they're getting wind of it now because you two very much knew each other because mind you people a lot of people in Brevard County was a part of this scheme against me to cause me an untimely death, to cause me to lose finances because of people like this and working in a government entity for them to know every bit of your business and have you going through 
fingerprinting while you already still working at this company having to go through fingerprinting every three months or every month that don't even make no sense do my fingerprints change hell no so that lets me know that you were constant to involve me in something that i was doing i'm having to go through this rigmarole to keep my job there but then my stupid brother somehow got pulled into somehow I guess you uh called him sleeping with men is that what happened Randy you didn't want your secret to come out so they say oh we know you sleep with men and so you decided to jump on board and turn against me is that what what happened when you came home with this jury and this ring and stuff is that when you got initiated into their little coven. You know, like I said one time to you all, this person, the brother that I knew as brother, when I was his caregiver, he comes home from the hospital and sits down and say, I'm going to start being mean. And I kind of overlooked that, but I heard it. You can't unhear something that somebody has said. And I'm saying to myself, what in the hell are you talking about? Mm -hmm. so that's when you got pulled into they bull crap but then again oh this transpired when me you and john used to live in the same apartment while i'm going to work where you and john sleeping together and that's how you became infected with hiv Hmm, trying to do something behind my back. So all of y'all are infected with HIV. After this one guy, John, whom I told the courts tried to infect me with that because you didn't disclose the fact that you are HIV positive. And I don't care about no damn drug that's supposed to suppress bull your uh disease you need to disclose that disease to someone who you know don't have it but again john you were paid by my family to come to me so i take it that um somehow Randy either was unaware or he was already infected with HIV since he was already sleeping with men. I don't know how that goes down. But uh, I do know that if you're gay, John, and Randy was trying to keep his on the down low, but yet I'm going to work, and I didn't know that neither one of you were gay. (laughs) What perfect time to play, right? Hmm. Anyway. All of you going down your little Ponzi scheme. As you should. (sighs) And, um. Hmm. I just would like for this to be over. That's all. But whatever the... uh, If there is an investigation going on, whatever they learning, hopefully it's some good stuff to put y'all behind bars for a long time. But then again, your habits is probably going to take you out anyway. That's why... Me, as the victim, waiting for this to be resolved, I just want it resolved. I don't care about how many years you are going to get in prison. I just care about me moving forward. Because how many years you get in prison has nothing to do with me being able to sustain and keep my life afloat while if there is an investigation going on. See, so... I don't want to become ill, sick, or in a worse condition while it's 
could be or could be not an investigation going on. That's what ticks me off about this whole process. Because I can care less if you do one day in prison or two days in prison. Just as long as my name get cleared. And just as long as whatever uh, groups or or uh, drug lords you all are involved in, they know the truth that I'm not the one that they need to be coming after. They need to be very much coming after your ass. So just as long as everybody know we clear, that's that's all I care about. I don't care how many years these people get. Just as long as they are the ones that are found guilty of known crimes that you are doing and that you have done and put others in jeopardy, if not unaliving them like you're trying to unalive me. But like I said, in the midst of all this, the victims, the victim have needs and necessities that are being neglected behind this investigation. That's was very much irritating to me. But outside of you going to prison and how many years you're going to get, I do not care. I care about my well-being and me moving forward. And you, yes, being stopped so you won't be harming me and others. But as far as how many years you get, I can care less. Anyway, I'm just... I'm just over all this bull crap because I know, I know for a fact, people know the truth. I'm being followed by too many people to know that I ain't the one out here doing that bummy, scammy, despicable things that you people are doing. (laughs) And people know this. So, hopefully, the Most High is going to wrap this up. Because I'm very much over all this stupid bull crap. Because I know who I am. It's you stupid folks that don't know who the fuck you are. <clears throat> anyway, anybody with eyes can clearly see who is disgusting and who is a menace to this society. So no matter how you try to make me look, as much people as you have following me, they already know the truth. Who's the complete idiot and who's telling the truth. So I advise y'all to stop what you're doing because you already ruined your life. Anyway, I got to go because y'all done woke me up out of my sleep doing your little whatever it is you do. Now, not y'all. The most high woke me up for a reason because y'all probably are doing whatever it is you doing. But anyway, nevertheless, thank you most high for another day. And hopefully uh, this Saturday... Since law enforcement never stops, I I just want them to go ahead and make an arrest. Take these people down and shut this thing down. Because the victim or victims is getting tired of people like these folk running around causing all kind of havoc. Havoc.